Welcome back to the Mastering Runeterra podcast with Jay and Bay, the number one source for competitive legends of Runeterra news and information. If you're looking for the best decks to play right now, right now. be sure to check us out on Twitter at Master Runeterra or in our Discord. And if you want to take the next step in leveling up your game, check out our Runeterra team on Patreon where we do weekly learning calls and one-on-one coaching. Now strap in and grab yourself some Boro snacks because we are about to start Mastering Runeterra. Welcome back to the Master Guterra Podcast with Jay and Bay. Uh, this is episode number 100. I can't believe we've actually made it this far. 100 freaking episodes. Um, I gotta say thank you to everyone that supported us. Everyone that's hung out, uh, watched these videos, subscribed to our website, uh, subscribed to our Patreon. Seriously, thank you guys so much. Um, you know, it does feel somewhat fitting that this is episode 100 because I feel like we've been like kind of like battling for the last i guess what two years or something uh we're doing one of these a week yeah it's basically two years um waiting for this day of like organized play and having stuff to do and having multiple formats and um you know having tournaments every month which we now have uh we're gonna be diving into all that stuff um Audrey, how you feel how you feel about 100 episodes do you believe it do you believe it's real no it's weird it's really weird <laughs> it's really fucking weird yeah it's like, I like know it to be true, but don't really believe it. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. It doesn't feel real. Um, even like we just met in Vegas last week, uh, which again, apologies everyone for my phone dying because I felt like we were starting to hit a, we were starting to hit a stride there. We were starting to hit a roll. I could have talked for like another I hour probably. Happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we were drinking. Um, don't make that face. People will know. Um, we didn't drink as much as I wish we did. I know, I know. I was a little too card game brain. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, we finally made it. We made it through uh the Sharima Desert, as I like to call it, the long wait for this organized play system. Um, lots to dig into. We're gonna dig into our thoughts about that. We're gonna dig into the meta. I'm actually playing now, which is crazy because mm-hmm. I basically didn't play for six months which is so weird uh but it feels good it feels good to be back and and having something to play for um yeah you know what let's just let's just jump into it right there let's jump, what do you what are you thinking of this whole uh the organized play system so far Cause it's still still early days we really only have like the daily gauntlets daily rumble yeah, opens on its way very soon uh, do you want this 10 out of 10 yeah. Not like a light 10 out of 10 either. Not like, oh yeah, 10 out of 10. Like, no, it's really, really good. <laughs> really yeah. Really nice. <laughs> I mean, I, I would give you like a 9 out of 10. There's still like, it's like the little, so, let's see. One, I would have loved Eternal. I want Eternal Ladder. I okay. want Eternal Ladder. Sure. Lots of people. I'm actually about happy we should. don't have Eternal Ladder right this second. I know that's off very selfish of me, but I'm happy we don't have it off the bat so people can focus on like, standard it's a new format let's because we we not only like is it new for us but it's new for the devs and i feel like i want i want the format to be as good as it can be because it's going to be the main competitive format i want a bunch of people putting a ton of time into it so we could figure out because like this is a huge sweeping change happened to the format right not only was there a set release but also like 400 cards were removed from legends of runeterra standard um that's a that's a big big change and we need to find out what's working, what's not, what needs help, what's too good now. Uh, so, I'm, so I'm happy that we have like the whole of the community playing standard right now. I'm sorry, all you eternal lovers who will get there. Don't worry. Yeah, that is a very good point that like everyone might have just played eternal uh, otherwise, right? Because it's like, why not just put all the cards? That's what we've always been doing. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I like, I, you know, I guess we're, I'm not privy to the, you know, the numbers or whatever, but I feel like both formats will be just fine. I'd, we do have the ladder in a few months. And I think I we'll expect just, you said to just go. I expect both to be good. Um, but I expect my favorite will end up being internal. Yeah. I uh, let's just jump into it right now. I want them so they've already unbuffed, unnerfed some things. 
right? Like uh, Ballistic Bot. Ballistic Bot. And, uh, and uh, what was the other one? Serpent. Oh, oh, zero Minute okay. Snake Challenger. Yeah. I was thinking, oh, it was that Serpent. It's a 2-1, yeah. Oh, I for some reason I thought it was like the the two one ephemeral like gay life. I was like I didn't think they had the little that. Oh, no. the serpent. The that's the Zoe one. one. Yeah, I was thinking uh, atrocity. The other one went back. Oh, fast. yeah, yeah, yeah. First, the second after longest the nerve. Well, ever. I, yeah, I want I wanted to get like let's let's bring Temple back. Oh let's, yeah. Uh, oh, I was yeah. like I was like let's put Tribeam back to four. I was like what if we just yeah. can put it to three. Just get real crazy. Uh, yeah, Eternal should be nuts. Like, yeah, Eternal. Like, I mean, you played Magic. I'm sorry for the non-Magic people. I know we talk about Magic a lot. Like, Eternal should be modern. I don't want it to be legacy, yeah. but I want it yes. to be modern. Yeah, get to do the big, powerful stuff, big, crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah, because yeah. standards not going to give you that. Standards would be good, no. and what? <laughs> and standards would be it, its own thing that's also good, much more like, um, I don't know, like fair. I guess, and you know, get to battle back and forth and stuff. Yeah. Like that's what you want from standard. The eternal, you want to get to do the big dumb things. You want to, you want to cheat souls into play. You want to like, um, yeah. I want to level set with Trundle's ice pillar, kind of stuff. I want to cast Feel the Rush, have it go get set and Karma, and immediately trigger set. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> so good. Yeah, I know. yeah, you want to be crazy. I want to bring, I want to bring Watcher back and have it yeah. not be good enough. Yeah. <laughs> all the craziness all the craziness um because i saw a lot of people i didn't know this but uh i made the mistake of making a post on reddit Oof. because i'm doing a lot of writing now so i was sharing on there and people were just like oh you like rotation huh must be out of touch like or like riots and doing good on communication like what are you talking about and all this stuff people were just ripping into me i was like what i don't get it like why are you guys mad and they're like everyone's pissed about rotation or everyone on riot it read it apparently uh, read it yeah yeah they're like the justification is that like they didn't tell us why they didn't tell us why they were rotating these cards like, that would have been nice oh. to be fair just like a couple of sentences about like I mean, a champ or two but like whatever gee i mean what does it matter at the end of the day like they gotta pick a bunch of cards yeah. which we wanted and then yeah. like you know though why because mostly because those cards were probably like too good or mm-hmm. you know or able to be busted or for the, some cards coming up that were going to make them a problem or whatever. It was some combination of those reasons. So they had to go. Like, I don't, I, I hope this, like, just in a month, everyone's just like, yeah, everything's fun again. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, just, I'm, so, I'm a little, like, what I didn't want is that rotation was going to happen and we were just going to get LOR minus, where it was just yes. like, okay, it's the same thing, but it's like worse. What we got instead currently is all these really powerful, really interesting decks are back in the meta. We have, Vane Aatrox. We have Kane Aatrox. We have these Jarvan Demacia piles. Aragorn just 4 0 the Glorian Navori with a Jack Jarvan deck playing three copies of Jarvan the Third. Like, we have, I'm oh, playing yeah. Karma <laughs> and winning a lot, <laughs> right? We have like all this kind of stuff. There's still like the Shadow Isles control decks and like Nora Vagar. We have Hymer Jace. Uh, Samir is coming in and making a really big splash. Like, Swain's starting to pick up. Uh, in play rate, we have traps that are like actually good now. Um, all these things are kind of happening at once, and it's like so fun because when things are just slightly tuned down across the board, I get to try out all these different things that you couldn't normally do. Like blocking Badger Bear went from being like obviously an insanely statted unit, but just like kind of good to like insane. <laughs> just a 4 4 that can block a loser's every time that hits the board, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do I deal with that? How do I get through this? Um, and that's great. And then we're going to go to Eternal at some point. Some things are going to get buffed. And we're going to do a crazy spell nonsense. And it's going to be great. Or people are going to be killing fools with Poppy on turn four. Right? Like, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, good old Poppy. I miss Poppy. Um, yeah. I, I hope. I hope. I miss Poppy. Poppy's some good shit. Um, yeah, okay. So let's let's dive into standard. Actually, hold on. Let's, let's talk about these changes a little bit more first. Um, how about the stuff they didn't hit? Like, I could have, I would have been happy for like Aatrox to go or like some okay. one of them. Yeah, one of the the darkened guys. I feel like you don't want to rotate one. I feel like you want to get them all out or none. Okay, fucking take them all. I've never liked them. They're not my favorite. I don't dislike. I them. actually really like them. I think they're cool. Yeah, 
I think um, they do one thing so well that it's hard to like, if you're not good at that thing, like you just kind of lose to it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't... I feel like they found I a really good balance out. now. Like, you don't think, like, K- Kane saw play on its own. Yeah, I mean, he's nerfed now. So is Aatrox. They're both nerfed. Yeah, okay. And, and then the other big offender, though, is like the Burbles and Shelly. Yeah, wow. Okay, can't believe that survived. Um, granted, it gives us like cool spell based things to do, which is awesome. I'm always down for that. Um, Auction is still in the game, which is yeah. one of my like top three Shifty rotated champions. That was shocking to me. He's not seeing, a, he's not seeing like people are trying to play him, but he's not doing particularly well at the moment. No, no, he's so, not. But he's just good. He's always been good. It's like a, it's like a matter of time kind of thing until we'll find like a press auction. Though. It's not oppressive. No, usually not. But he is like incredible. Carino was kind of impressive. Yeah, he's That's what Draven no, used to be in Noxus. Right, like you're playing a Noxus yeah. deck, you're just playing three copies of Draven. That's what you do. Yeah, maybe I give it two minus two days until people figure out Auction Varus is still really good. I tried that as like the first deck I played, and like, yeah, it's still got some power, but like, I don't know, the format's not great for it. They didn't find. Okay. They only put a handful of games, but um, yeah. I mean, auction is just fucking good, for sure. It's only a matter of incredible unit. Yeah. Okay. New standard. Um. So the big. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. I'm. I'm just gonna go. Uh. Yeah. Samira, new kid on the block, making huge waves. Everyone's all up in arms. Samira's gotta go. Samira's gotta go. Okay. So day one, day zero. We found this Fizz Samira, Navi Samira, MF Samira, whatever. Bilgewater Samira deck, and it's nuts. Blows people out of the water. Does some busted things. However, very good. Uh, Samira gets my vote for probably best card in the game right now. Her champ spell, All Out, gets my vote for, along with Samira, second best card in the game. Because um, in combination, they're just, like, they're just better than anything you could be doing. However, I think that deck, the Fizz Samira deck, is bad. I think it was an incredible day oneer. Now PNZ decks are rocking three copies of Caustic Rift. Everybody's ready for this. Um, yeah, you still blow people out of the water, but it's not good. This is like, this feels like a Burble Fizz Mind Meld deck before we found real TF Fizz. That's what it feels like to me. Um, it's fragile. It is heavily reliant on its pieces. On finding the specific pieces. Inferna or Samira. Or Shelly, depending on how far into the game you are. Um, I believe in one week, we'll find a Samira list that is rock solid. But until then, I expect Samira to not be the first or second best deck. Yeah. Like, Fizz is... I don't know. Like, do you even need Fizz in that deck? And it's really nice to do the pew, and then you hit Fizz and you get it back. That's kind of cool. Yeah. You don't need him, yeah. but... Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, the, deck's, the deck's definitely good. It's definitely powerful. Yeah. The deck like, just can't deal with it. Like the the Aatrox decks are just like a little too slow. It's like a tough mat. It's pretty tough for them. They just you're so fast you and efficient. You just go underneath them. Um so like it's not like the deck's bad. It's only not bad. But you're saying that we're gonna see a it's like just a deck. Whereas like we're gonna see a very good version in the future. It's a deck. Yeah, it's a deck. Or uh let's give another example. Uh Ionia Siver. Remember that one with Flurry of Fists? Okay, yeah. This is Ionia Siver with Zed. We're about to find in a week or two Akshan Demacia Siver, which was way better. <laughs> like Ionia Siver arguably did the more busted thing. It was it could just like pop up, you're dead. Right? But like Yeah. But Demacia Siver was by far the better deck. Yeah, I think yeah, in a week we're gonna get there. We might not. We might. I might be wrong. Maybe this is it, but I really don't think so. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think. I think the Samir deck is because what it does is so efficient. Like the deck's just going to be around. It's just there's decks that just like can't really beat it. Like you just like you just you're not efficient enough, and you just get tempoed right out of the game. Yep. Uh, Every time I'm on, yeah. Will there, will there be a better? Will there be a better version? I don't. I don't know. Like Samira's like Samira's not even like Samira's good because she's so fucking efficient. 
She's so fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like make and like her champ spell is insane. That's like kind of the main part of it, actually. Her champ spell was slow. Or something else, you mean? Or something else? Yeah, if her champ spell was just something else, like imagine she just got it once. You did just regenerate, like until she leveled up or something. Yeah. Like she didn't get it on every strike. Whatever. Like sometimes, oh, like, sometimes yeah, she yeah. will rally. But the burst part is nuts. Like, and then, I don't know if you know this, but when you level Samira, she loses the, if you already have one in hand, check. So you can just stack her thing. Really? I yeah. Know that. Just found that out yesterday. Um, oh my god. This yeah. needs to be better. Also, a pirouette is bonkers. Yeah, because that's pretty good. I remember, like, I cast it, and then I was like, wait, that was one mana. This can't do it. I think it does. And then it did. <laughs> And then I found out it could go face, so it was even better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's slow, and so, like, it was a lot better when people didn't know about it as much. They were just running straight into it. Just, just develop it. it. Like, you just like it just... Oh. Yep. Uh, gotcha. But, yeah, now people are opening a lot more. But, yeah, cards are definitely good. Yeah. Um, I don't want to spend all the time on Samira, so if you have anything else you want to get in there about it. Okay, let's real quick. You know, people are talking about like nerf her, blah blah blah. I think yeah. she definitely needs to be taken down just a little bit. I mean, I, I'd like to wait and see another week. Um, but again, yeah. I, just, I like, want girl. You ask, like she's she's obviously too. I'm just saying, like make start with making her champ spell focus speed. Yeah, like that's a nothing change. That's it's still relevant. Yeah, uh, but like I don't know. Start there. Here are my suggested... Okay, so I don't want to change it now. I don't want to hotfix it because I want to find out what actually no. needs to be changed. I don't want to. I don't think it needs to be hotfixed. It doesn't need to be hotfixed. It's not even the winningest deck in the game. It's probably not even top three. Um, no, it's not. If, if you're like, you have to nerf Samira right now, what do you do? I go, uh, all out is plus two plus one. They do pump spell. It's plus two plus oh, except when you have plunder, then it would be plus yeah. two plus one. God damn, that, that, card's, good. that card's insane. Um, yeah. and then the second nerf would be pirouette goes from three, goes from two to three. So it goes three mana. And then on plunder, it's two mana. That would be my, if I had to do something right now, but I don't want to yet. It's not, no, 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 definitely don't. And also like, this is why we wanted a bunch of best of three, because like this stuff is not such an issue. Like you're playing decks that just can't beat Samir. It's just like, okay, well, there's your band. That's yeah. Cool. Other than that, like you play decks that deal with Samir, like she's not the end of the world. Yeah, like uh, I was just talking about, uh, there's some decks with cost of grips that just like beat it up. Uh, Mo brought a deck specifically designed to beat Samira, where it was just like a but it's like a million pings, Nora, Nar, and then it plays the prize fight boat. And you just like keep prize fighting, like with Nar hit the stuff to just keep getting more pokey sticks. And you just, you just gun down every X one. Like, yeah, if you want to beat Samira, you can. Um, however, I I think in a week we're gonna find something where that might not be the case anymore. Yeah, you can definitely make a version where all your stuff is in one toughness, like stuff yeah. something like that. Um, I was gonna complain about how like we're not playing best of three right now, but we will be like next week leading up to uh, the open. But it, I guess like again, like we're easing into things, right? Like yeah. you don't want to like make everything intense and confusing. There's so much going on. I can imagine how, like, for a lot of players that play kind of casually, you don't keep up the shit. It's like, what what's going on? You want to easy do it a little bit. But goddamn, well, I want to play some best of three. Real pan. Yeah, it's nice today to play a little bit of best of three. Yeah, well, yeah, because uh, you, for anyone who doesn't know, you got to play in the glory in the glory brawl. Did you hear the announcements, by the way? Yes. I was going to get there. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I played in the Glory and Navori Brawl. Uh, in my group, I, I was on team set. In my group, I had to play against uh, Mo, seasonal champion, and Aragorn, current world champion. Uh, it did not go well. I went 0-2. and two. Uh, this is crazy. Both games were 1-2s, and twos, just rough games. But honestly, it, like, kicked me in the... It kind of, kind of lit a fire into my ass a bit. It's like, because I don't like losing. And I, like, I was talking to chat about this on the stream. Um a while ago is that I haven't been a competitive Runeterra player in a long time. So um, it's been a long time because you just, 
there was nothing there to do. Was nothing to compete in. So I just didn't. Right. And like I started getting what I like to call streamer brain, <laughs> which basically means that my default is to autopilot because I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm trying to do something else. I'm trying to talk to chat, right? I'm trying to tell a story. Um yeah. or make jokes land or whatever. So like I'm defaulting to autopilot all the time. Um the only time that I like came out and really like put the work in and I thought was playing at a very high level was Worlds. Uh and I thought I had a very good performance. I didn't I, I lost the Witten in after going, you know, like what five and one or something. Um true. But yeah, didn't didn't quite make it, but I thought I played really well. Um but yeah, that was a bit of like a wake up call. You know what I mean? It was like, cause, cause because of the amounts <laughs> that we're going to get to, uh, I need to win one of these opens. I just want to. And I, if I don't qualify for worlds, like if I, if I do poorly this season, a lot of my priorities will change <laughs> because I, I am, that is not okay. <laughs> that I, that's right. that's it's really freaking hard to qualify for worlds. So you either need to win the tournament in May, win first yeah. put. Basically winning a seasonal. Or you need to be top three point earners, which means you probably needed to like top four one of these tournaments. Yep. You gotta do our gauntlets. You gotta do well on ladder. Like every last point's gonna matter here. Yeah, but like most of them are coming from the tournaments though. So like you need to the people that are like top fouring, like that's a lot, those are the big points. Yeah. You gotta hit your gauntlets, sorry, for the buys in the open. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, like, it's it's tough. It's, you know, when was the last season that you top four? I top eight the last one. I said top four. I, top, um, I don't think I top. I think I just missed it. If you, go, if you go top eight and then top 30, it's 64 players. Made, 64, right? 64 guys. I don't know. So, say you go top eight, top 64, top 64, like, that's probably not good enough. If you go top eight, top 32, top 32, that might not be good enough either because it's three... It's only three fucking people. You know, it's insane. And then they have the the world, the over the year, yearly qualifier yes. points. And then they have the yearly one, which yeah. is against all the other shards also. Yeah. Um. So for those of you who are like, damn, Majin's washed. Uh, good news. Uh, Flesh and Blood is no longer having West Coast events for the foreseeable future. Probably for the next year. Uh, I live on the West good Coast. News. It's... It's good news for Runeterra, who people people who just want me to play Runeterra. It's bad news for me because I really, really enjoy playing Flesh and Blood. Um, but a lot of my practice time, like I've geared, I, I've shifted my competitive focus from Legend of Runeterra to Flesh and Blood because there wasn't competitive events in Legend of Runeterra. Now there is competitive events in Legend of Runeterra. It's harder for me to do the Flesh and Blood events, more of a commitment. So I imagine it's going to go back to Legend of Runeterra, and that's going to start this next week. I, well, okay. Honestly, this first open, I'm not going to be able to prep a ton for because I do still have the Flesh and Blood Pro Tour um, at the end of April. Uh, oh, no, it's the weekend. end of April. And then after that, though, it's going to be like... going to be tight. Um, yep. Okay, we got we to gotta quick hit because I got I to gotta jet in like five minutes. So, okay, so... Um, so it's, yeah, like you were saying, Fizz Samira is the most played deck, but it doesn't have the highest win rate. Not even close. So yep. Aatrox Queen Vane is currently sitting at number one with 58.44%. That deck size. Um, and then real curious, the next one is Kale Leona Samira. Yeah. It's like a Noxus Leona. Act. Remember Katarina Leona? It's that. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's a it's a new it's a new take on Cat Leona, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of hot for just because like it's a little like it's just weird and kind of rogue and like yeah. also has 58. percent It's basically tied. It it, it um, is an incredible. It is the best aggro deck against decks that are running like uh, AOE removal. Like uh, Caustic Rift is like at an all time high right now, and it just hits nothing <laughs> in that deck. It looks terrible. What is it? Which. Caustic Rift, the PNZ, deal one to everything oh, on your opponent's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That deck does oh. not care. Um, and then no, something, good. so yeah, there's there's a lot. There's a, If you wanted to go like one or two more down the list, you can. But I had a couple of lists. Like, I want to hit the next one, which is really funny because it's number three, four, and five. It's Gwen Quinn Vane, and then Gwen Vane, and then Gwen Quinn. <laughs> yeah. So it's literally these three variants that all have 57%. Um, Gwen Quinn being the most played one by far, uh, with like 
like combined they have over ten thousand matches which is like kind of wild it's like this deck is crushing i've been i've been slapped around by it quite a bit i think i'm actually gonna go load it up and use it for my daily rumble today i have something against that deck but that's because i tried to play it last month uh and it just like wasn't good enough it had like a 53 percent win rate but it just like the deck just wasn't very good um it wasn't powerful enough but now the power level has been dropped and it didn't really lose much so i'm interested to see if it if it actually like if my if i'm just biased because i tried it beforehand and it didn't like meet my standards and now maybe it's like definitely good enough but yeah it'll be interesting to see demacia is coming back in kind of a big way we have the vein aatrox decks we have the uh gwen quinn decks and then like i said aragorn with demacia Vilgewater uh put up a really good performance yeah um it's like with two weeks left until the open like i need to I meet everyone else need to like and i guess technically you if you're like you know playing it all you need to figure out a lineup yep time to start thinking uh i'm gonna tell you right now my lab's gonna have karma set i love that deck <laughs> i'm having yeah, so much fun I'm, every game i just have a smile on my face like that that deck is just so fun because you get to 10 you play karma and you're just like cool i have 32 mana <laughs> <laughs> like you you cast all your stuff and then you cast your coin refill back to full and then if you kept to place your bets in your hand which you're trying to do uh you cast it draw four cards and then you have eight more mana after that just so fun how how actually good is the deck though quite <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you it's the best deck but i think it's quite good um yeah it's gonna be interesting man i can't wait to start playing best of three i can't believe i I can't believe we've never had a way to play best of three. And even still now, it's still like, oh, it's just going to be this week before the open, and then it's going to like switch to something else. Oh, there's those big ones on the weekend coming up, though. That's kind of... Also, uh, t some website is hosting some tournament? Oh, yeah, yeah. Those smastering Bloon Terra. Bloon Terra. Yeah. What is that? There's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm talking to you. I was going to call us idiots. I was going to call it whatever. We're holding a freaking tournament. Uh, I'm actually going to play in this one. For uh, sure. Is it? Um, it's next week, right? Yeah. yeah I'm also going to do my best to play in it. Nope. It's going to be, uh, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, um, trying to get the, you go, oh, we said, we said, I don't think it's on the website currently. It's it's around. It's information around. I look at the Discord. It's on Maturino. Uh, if that helps you find it, Maturino.com or whatever. Um, twenty dollar entry, thousand dollar prize pool. Um, gonna be cast by uh, Sprinkling Ice Tea and Boulevard, as per usual. This guy just rush it. They have a bunch of new assets and stuff. It's gonna be like a great show. Um, yeah, it feels like the olden days. Hey, remember when? Um, I remember when we ran one and like our our tournament like shifted the whole meta for. Oh, it was the NASA Thresh as your relic. The NASA Thresh one, yeah, because that deck was like oh, yeah, it was TLT. Yeah. Uh huh. That's just our TLC, wasn't it? In TLC, yeah. Yeah. It kind of feels like that again. I hope it is. So. That was fun. Oh. All right. Um. Honestly, for this week though, like, I recommend people play a lot of different stuff. Uh, yeah, because there's so much stuff out there. So much stuff, and so much unexplored. That's the thing. Like, don't. I was gonna say, like, don't just rely on the tier list makers and stuff, but like. Instead of, except for Master Your Terrors, obviously. Um, what I recommend, actually, is using them to try all the things, but sort by, like, win rate and stuff, and look for the ones that have, like, 300 games and are performing really well. If you haven't seen it or haven't played it, like, give it a shot for a game or two, because people are going to find some stuff that's, like, comes out of nowhere. There's so much unexplored right now. Yeah, there's a lot of brewing to do, and that's where you can get, a, like, a really big edge. Like, this is what one of my does, right? He just brews a bunch of stuff around. Like, his technical play is, is definitely good. Uh, very good, of course. But, like, he gets a massive edge by just trying a bunch of shit out, throwing it at the wall, and, like, figuring out the stuff that works for him, he likes, and he has a plan, and then you don't know what the fuck his plan is, and it just gives him this huge edge. You've never played this matchup, but he sure has. <laughs> yeah. Like what a what a freaking edge and and it's so fun right now too you're not just kind of getting beat up by everything like the format's really open and like i don't know so i'm having a good time playing it i uh, me too yeah uh i just need to find a good tibble deck really i love tibble i'm playing like annie caitlin right now fair enough 
right. <laughs> I'll find something better. I mean, I'm not judging, but. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, you gotta go. It's about, you just go. I gotta go. I gotta head out. Um, but oh man, I'm I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I hope everybody else is enjoying it too. Like this is this is like Winter Wonderland. Oh, announcement! Oh, hit the mic. Announcements. Okay. Oh yeah. I announced that coming up, there's going to be in for open winners and possibly some content creators. There's going to be an invitational only tournament that Riot's holding in August. They said they're going to try really hard to make it IRL on riot campus that's announcement number one that's not even all of them do you want to handle the other big one i said you called that by the way i did call that yeah i said i think this mystery event is going to be an ir all of it invitational for the open winners yeah uh would you like to would you like to talk about the other announcement no tell them them. okay so in september they're going to be rolling out and testing they said this is all like not completely set in stone, so don't like yell at them if it doesn't exactly come this way. Um, going to be rolling out and testing a new limited format to replace Expedition, which uh, you've been pretty excited about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's good, if it's good, I'm very excited about it. But the fact is, like, the fact of the matter is that they're just starting now, which I'm not super happy about. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. If it's not good, about a year ago. Yeah. If it's not good, if it's not what we want, we'll let them know. We'll be like, this isn't good enough. Please try again. At least it's I, coming, though. This is coming. I don't want to get stuck with another expedition that's just like, eh. All right. April, May, June, July, August, September. All right. We're about six months away. Yep. All right. And with that, I got to go. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully, I'll see you on ladder and in the tournament. Yeah, we'll do a longer one uh, next week as we get closer to uh, the open and everything. Maybe even two, whatever. We'll figure it out. Bye, everybody. Peace.